Okay, we go to the morning. Good morning, everybody. As we go to the chitas of today, we're holding in Pashas Bechukaisai. We're holding on chapter uh, 26 in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Leviticus, chapter 26, verse number 3, as we come to the last Pasha in this week's, in, in the book of Vayikra. In Bechukaisai Teleichu, if you go if follow my statutes, if Mitzvah say to Shmeiru and you observe my commandments, Vasisa Meisam, and you'll do and you and if you'll and you'll do them. Now she says, uh, I might think this refers to fulfillment of the commandments. However, when the Torah says already, you preserve my commandments, the fulfillment of the commandments already stated. So what is the meaning in Bechukaisai Teleichu if you follow my statutes? The Rashi says it means that you must toil in the study of Torah. A mailin bedivre Torah. Jew should toil in the learning of Torah. That's the say says to Shmeru, you shall study the Torah in order to observe the mitzvah. So you should be, uh, all, we should all be sages in the learning of Torah. We shouldn't just, uh, just hear things and do things. And this is similar. It says, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and ordinance, and learn them and keep them. Um, learn the Torah in order to keep it them um, in your heart and to form them in your action. Verse number four: When the I'm going to give your rains in your time. But not not it's your vula, and the land will give its produce. The eight asad the yit and piria, and the the tree of the field will give its fruits. Now she says, What means be eaten? What means it's rain in the time? The time means at the time when usually people are at our home, like on Friday night when they're sitting with their families. At the Friday night meal. This refers to the trees planted in the field as opposed to the orchard that does not bear fruit but are destined to bear fruit in the future. And your threshing will last until vintage. And your vintage will um, and your vintage will last until uh, uh, until the sowing, and you'll eat your fruit, your food, and you'll be satiated. You'll be happy. And you'll live in peace in your land with security in your land. Now she says, "What does it mean for the threshing? Will be plentiful. That will be occupied until your vintage, and you'll be occupied with the vintage until the sowing. You're going to be so busy." Because there'll be an abundance of food. As she says, one will eat one little food, but will become blessed in his innards. There'll be healthy food and will be satisfied with the food that he has. And that is the completion of the Chumash for today. We now go to the Tanya of the day. We are holding in the middle of chapter 49 of Tanya. Started yesterday, the 49th chapter of Tanya. How can a physical man attain this level of godly love that nothing can obstruct the person from this love? Therefore, in the Shema, they first made the brach, two brachas that they, that they added in the Shema. They first added the brach of Yetzir Er. And there they introduced to the to be cited first for the blessing. There is stated and repeated at length. And this meditation must indeed need a lengthy one, taking into account all specific details of the Yaitzarat. Because over there it's talking about the Malachim. Sinyan Sayyidah Malachim, the account of the order of the angels, which stand in the world summit. Why does the Torah, why does the, the prayer over there, the brach over there, deal with angels? In order to proclaim the greatness of the Holy One, blessed be He. How all are all nullified to His blessed light. And they pronounce in fear. What do they pronounce? And they sanctify God's name, God's name, and declare. They, they say in total fear, Kadesh, 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 how God is holy of holy of holies. What is the meaning, Kadesh, that God is holy? 
that are the malachim who are, who are berumah shalaylam, the malachim that stand in the core of the world. They are in the holy worlds above, in Atzila, Bri, Atzila, Asira, these all malachim that stand in all these wonderful spiritual worlds. Ultimately, what do they say? God is moved up. That God is, 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 is totally above them. Means he's apart from them and does not clothe himself in them in a, in a revealed state. So where does God, the angels ask, where is God? And the answer is, The answer is, where does God reveal himself? Is in the whole earth. Is full of his glory. Where is this glory revealed? Ignatius Israel. The Maila Visolamata is in the community of Israel above, which is the community of Israel, Pikabala, is Malchut of the world of Atzilus, the source of Jewish souls, which is called earth, and in Israel on the earth below, where a Jew performed Teda Mitzvah, for which reason specifically in this world fills his glory. Why does the Abish to fill the glory? Because a Yid does a Teda Mitzvah. And through his Torah mitzvahs, he brings about the revelation of Dirabat Achtenim. He brings about the concept of bringing God to the world. So that's how God fills the world. Kenniskalel, as explained earlier. So all the above refers to the comprehension of the supernal angels. The Srafim who are able to comprehend how God is apart from them and that the, only the earth is charged with his glory. So too we find the, the blessing of Yetzer regarding the categories of angels that, uh, that are called the place of the, uh, regarding the categories of angels who places in a lower world than the Srafim. And they were therefore unable to handle God and this separate apart from them, the Ifanim and the holy chariot, Chayat, which though, which is a with a mighty sound declare what do they say blessed be the glory of god and may it be drawn down from its place for they, they neither know nor they apprehend this place and the place in which the godliness is revealed for which reason they say from its place where the place may be as they as all the angels say, Kihu Levade Modern Vikadesh, for he alone is exalted and holy. So we say these prayers, we say this bracha yitzre to, to inspire us to realize that even the angels, which according to the angels are, are, are the source, even my nefesh of Bahamas, my animal soul, that even these all these angels are highest. The various degrees of nullification of these angels are thus spoken of it. In the first of two blessings preceding Shema, when a person meditates on this matter, he'll begin to understand God's greatness. For all the lofty angels are nullified before him. And the Alter Rebbe will continue to the second bracha of Shema. And what is the meaning of the second bracha that we say before we say the Shema? But here, is where the Tanya ends today. And today is the 18th day of the month, which is Lag Ba'im, the 18th day of the month of Iyar, which is Tilim is chapter 68 and 69. No, I'm sorry, seven, yeah, 60. No, it's 88 and 89, I'm sorry. 88 and 89. If you do those two chapters, you do the chitas of the day. I wish you all a wonderful day in the midsham. I invite you all. I know some people say there's no class. I invite you all to uh, class in Tanya today at Chabad. Uh, at Chabad, you don't have to go to the school. You can come straight to Chabad at 10 a.m. And then at 12 a.m., we'll celebrate Lag Boima at the park and uh, celebrate Jewish pride in Lag Boima. Uh, the celebration of Shem at 12 o'clock at the uh, South County Park, Sunset Cove. Everybody's welcome at 12 p.m. And Amit Shem, Amit Shem will continue tomorrow, Memorial Day at 8 a.m. will continue the Chitas of the day.
Have a wonderful and beautiful and happy and healthy day.